Welcome to our guide on the rules of 2020 cricket, the shortest and most electrifying format of the game. Hey cricket fans, today, we're going to break down the rules of 2020 cricket, from power play overs to super overs. So, grab your bat and let's dive right in. The laws of 2020 cricket essentially follow those of traditional one day, 40 and 50 over cricket matches. In 2020 cricket, each team is allowed one innings to try and score as many runs as they can within a period of 20 overs that is 120 balls. However, whilst 2020 shares many of the laws of the longer versions of the one-day game, it also possesses certain individual rules that are designed to speed up the passage of play. Though some cricket traditionalists have argued that these specific laws cheapen the image of cricket, they are ultimately designed to give 2020 a fresh and more exciting edge. Let's see specific rules of 2020 cricket. The free hit. The free hit serves to penalize a bowler if he delivers a no ball by overstepping his mark. The free hit is awarded following such an infringement and basically means that the batsman will not be given out for that delivery, unless he is run out. The batsman is essentially given a free swing, without fear of the repercussions. 5 Run Penalties in 2020 cricket, an umpire may award one of the team's five bonus runs if he feels the opposition is needlessly wasting time. This is designed to maintain the flow and pace of a 2020 match. 75-minute time limits. Bowling teams are forced to complete their 20 overs within 75 minutes. That is 3 minutes and 45 seconds per over. A bonus of 6 runs is given to the batting team if the bowling side has not begun its 20th over before their 75 minutes is up. Once again, this rule aims to maintain the rhythm and pace of the 2020 game. Bowling Restrictions of 2020 In a move once more designed to favor the batting team, individual bowlers are only allowed to bowl for a total of 4 overs during the 2020 game. This obviously limits the damage that can be inflicted on the batting side by a single, inform bowler. The 90-second rule. Once a wicket has fallen in a 20-20 match, the following batsman must take up his position at the wicket or bowler's end within 90 seconds. If they are unable to do so, they could potentially be disqualified from batting in the match. Fielding restrictions of 2020. 2020 cricket laws only allow five fielders to stand on the leg side of the batsman at any one time. Similarly, only two fielders are allowed to stand outside of the inner circle in the first six overs of play. This number increases to five fielders in the remaining 14 overs. These restrictions are designed to increase the flow of runs in a match, in order to create more of a spectacle for watching fans. The Super Over when a T20 match ends in a tie, the excitement doesn't stop there. Instead, it enters into a thrilling one-over eliminator known as the Super Over. If the scores are tied in the Super Over, the team that hit the most boundaries across the main match and the Super Over combined is declared the winner. But wait, there's more. If the boundary count is also tied, the team with the higher number of sixes in the main match and Super Over combined takes the victory. Bowl outs. Akin to the penalty shootout in many other sport, bowlouts take place at the end of tied 2020 matches. Five bowlers from each side are allowed to bowl twice at the wicket, with no batsman standing in its way. The team to topple the most wickets wins the game. So there you have it. Whilst 2020 rules may seem slightly random in the short term, they're designed to speed up the passage and flow of play to create more exciting matches. So why not get out there and have a go? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cricket content. Until next time, keep enjoying the game of cricket. We are from 2-2-Learn.